Today, I will prove to you that、um, you actually know a lot more French words than you think you do. Norman rule of England had an important and lasting impact on society and language. So, what I'm saying is that most of French vocabulary was imported、uh, because of. The Norman Conquest in 1066, which is when England came under the ruling of William the Conqueror. French became the language of culture and administration. Even though most continued to use Anglo Saxon as a language, it ended up being influenced、uh, by French, which had become the Elite, elite language,、um, and this influence resulted in doublets.、Mm. So, think about the meat that、uh, Anglo Norman nobility was eating、um, beef, mutton, veal, pork, and now think about、um, the animals. Ox, sheep, calf, pig.、Mm. These pairs of words actually mean the same thing, but one set of words appeared because of the French boeuf, beef, mouton, mutton, veau, veal, porc, pork. So If we take a closer look to the word you know, we notice that some fields, some lexical fields, are more affected than others. The first lexical field I will talk about is field of feudalism. Now, listen well. Chivalry comes from Chevalry. Homage comes from homage. So you just, to,、uh, you just have to add an M and change the pronunciation. Homage, homage. Peasant comes from paysan. Government, gouvernement. Parliament, parlement. Minister, ministre. And actually, some words are exactly the same in English and in French. You don't even need to learn them again. For example, take the word villain in French, vilain. Now, the field of religion was naturally affected and touched by the Norman as well. For example, think about the word an abbey. Abbey in French, clergy, clergé, cloister, cloître, cloître, friar, frère, frère, mass, mess, mess, parish, paroisse, paroisse. Prayer, prière, prière, vicar, vicaire, vicaire, sacristie, sacristie, sacristie. So, naturally, on top of、um, the religion film, the nobility terms come from French as well. Which is good news for you because it means that you won't have to learn them once more. So, Duke in French is Duke. Duke. Count, like Count Olaf, is Comte. Comte. And these words are spelled exactly the same. Baron. Baron, baron, marquis, marquis, 
marquis. Prince, prince, prince. So, the art of war was a concern of the elites rather than the lowly peasants. So, it was deeply influenced by French language as well. Consider these words. Armor, armure, armure. Dungeon, donjon, donjon. Rampart, rempart, rempart, written exactly the same. Surcoat, surcoat, but that's old French, we don't use this word today. Now, let's move on to the field of heraldry. Blazon is the same word in French. Blazon. Or is or, or is or. Argent is argent. Sable is sable. One other thing that is actually forgotten quite easily is that um, animals are used quite a lot in heraldry. And most um, mythological um, beasts actually come from French. Their name, that is. So, Dragon, for example, will be dragon. Griffin will be griffon. Hippogriff will be hippogriff. Phoenix will be phoenix. Exotic animals also draw their name from French. Lion, lion. Leopard, leopard. Antelope, antelope, gazelle, gazelle, giraffe, giraffe, zebu, 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 elephant, elephant, dolphin, dauphin. Um, and chameleon, chameleon. Some European animals also draw their name from French. Uh, consider eagle, aigle, buzzard, buzzard, falcon, faucon, lizard, lézard, salmon, saumon, viper, viper. Okay, now another lexical field which was greatly influenced by French is the military field. So think about these words. Soldier, soldat. Grenadier, grenadier. Guard, garde. Officer, officier. Cavalry, cavalerie. Cavalerie, infantry, infantry, pistol, pistolet, brigade, brigade, surveillance, 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 rendezvous, rendezvous, that is just a loan word, espionnage, same, espionnage, siege, siège, Written the same, pronounced differently. Terrain, terrain. Troupe, troupe. Camouflage, loan word. Camouflage, written the same, pronounced the same. Logistics, logistique. And the same goes for military ranks. Corporal, corporel. Sergeant, sergeant. Lieutenant. Lieutenant, captain, capitaine, capitaine, colonel, colonel, general, général, admiral, admiral, amiral. So, words of French origin usually refers to abstract notions, which is why the field of politics and economics was 
heavily influenced as well. Take the word money, for example. It comes from French, money. Finance, finance, written the same. Tax, tax. Liberalism, liberalism. Capitalism, capitalism. Materialism, materialism. Nationalism, nationalism. Plebiscite. Plebiscite, coup d'état, coup d'état, that is a loan word once again. Regime, regime, federal, federal, bureaucracy, 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 constitution, constitution, jurisdiction, juridiction. And uh, while we are on jurisdiction, the judici judicial um, lexicon was also influenced by French as law was a um, matter of the higher ranks of society um, rather than lower, poorer people. So, for example, justice comes from justice written the same, pronounced differently, justice, justice, judge, juge, jury, jury, court, court. And the same goes for the field of arts. The word of art, the word art itself comes from art, French art. Music, Musique, dance, danse, theater, théâtre, author, auteur, paint, peinture, harmony, harmonie, melody, mélodie, rhythm, rythme, trumpet, trompette, note, note. Director, director, gallery, gallery, portrait, portrait, montage, montage. And now for the art movements, surrealism, surrealism, impression, impressionism, impressionism, fauvism, fauvism, cubism, cubisme. Symbolism, symbolism, art nouveau, art nouveau, learn word. Now, as I said earlier, the field of cuisine was, of course, influenced by the French. So, there are loan words which you just need to pronounce differently if you want to speak French, because they are exactly the same. They were just imported into the English language and they were not altered at all. Petit four, petit four, soufflé, soufflé, millefeuille, millefeuille, croissant, croissant, baba au rhum, baba au rhum, caramel, 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 fondant, 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 fondu, 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 meringue, Meringue, clafouté, clafouté, cassoulet, cassoulet, casserole, 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 mayonnaise, mayonnaise, foie gras, foie gras, and the list goes on and on. There are many more, obviously. And uh, now, French also influenced color names uh, such as beige, beige. It is the same word, mauve, mauve, maroon, marron, bleu, bleu, orange, orange, violet, 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 vermilion, vermillon, vermillon, turquoise, 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 lilac, lila. Lila. 
it also influenced um, vegetable and fruit names such as courgette, courgette, exactly the same, aubergine, 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 exactly the same, carrot, carrot, cucumber, concombre, orange, orange, apricot, abricot. It influenced some months of the year which are January, Janvier, March, Mars, May, May, July, Juillet, November, November, and December, December. See, you actually know more than 150 words in French already. 70% of English comes from French which is actually really good news for you if you're learning French. So that's it for tonight. Goodbye.